So I currently live in Queens, New York. I'm in the Glendale neighborhood and my place is kind of nestled in between a bunch of cemeteries and the elevated train line that exports New York City's waste to a landfill upstate. The sound of the trains is pretty nice, even if it might be carrying radioactive waste sometimes. And the graveyard, it's really peaceful. I love going there and walking around. It's a good spot to feel surrounded by people and yet be socially distant. There was a body of water here, actually. The Delta Lake. It's a triangular-shaped pond deep within the cemetery that was dredged to put in the Jackie Robinson Parkway that now runs through the cemetery. And just beyond the cemetery is the Ridgewood Reservoir in Highland Park, which is a freshwater wetland. It's a beautiful habitat now. It's, it's a snapshot of what this area might have looked like back in the day before we changed it all to our whims. This neighborhood is really chill, especially now after the pandemic hit. Yeah, I've lived in I've lived in New York for around 20 years, which is crazy when I say that out loud. Time is so weird though, right? This is a photo I took from the summer of 2000. It's the first time I ever went to the water in New York. And uh we came down down there to the Williamsburg waterfront and it was all abandoned and beautiful and free with that great view of the city. I instantly fell in love and moved here within a few months after that. So the waterfront for me has always been an escape, you know, from the chaos of the city and from the masses of people scurrying somewhere important. It's been a place to clear my head just think look out of the city um after Williamsburg became infested with giant luxury condos the waterfront obviously wasn't the same anymore so I kept on moving following the water's edge up to Greenpoint along the East River I found myself at a tributary known as the Newtown Creek where even fewer people hung out now I like people, but it's really nice to get some solitude, especially when you're in nature. And yes, it's nature. It's urban nature, but it's still nature. And there's lots of plants and there's wildlife. There's so many sweet moments out there, you know? I mean, I just like to hang out and watch some non-human activity for once. Like a family of Canadian geese bathing in a dirty puddle <laughs> it's beautiful though you know it really is the Newtown Creek is it's probably not quite as known as the Gowanus Canal but I like it even more for that it's an underdog in New York City waterways and it's the waterway that I've consistently lived closest to it is indeed a super fun site with a long history of abuse and neglect but it's it's on the mend from, from what we did to her, slowly but surely. And there's some great people who care. And there's some, there is some time to heal, you know, if we, if we start to change our ways, um, she will heal eventually. People ask me all the time, don't you get depressed hanging out down there? And I mean, yeah, it's sad. It's sad to see what we do to our waterways it's sad to watch the trash that builds up along the shoreline. But it is what we do to the world, you know, and, and I'd rather see it firsthand than not see it at all. And I'd rather get to hang out down by the water than just completely avoid it. I mean, it's been one of my favorite things to do in New York City. And so it's been really hard during lockdown as the weather starts to get nicer. Yeah, I've been in quarantine now for the last two months with everyone else in New York. And even before that, it was kind of winter and I had been out of town. I hadn't gotten down to the water very much. So I've been dreaming about it. And I've been talking about it with my water family and friends. And so I decided to 
go for my first walk down to the creek today. So from my house, you walk up Fresh Pond Road, which is named after uh, some real fresh ponds that used to be uh, up around here. I think at this playground right here was a, one of the ponds. As I walk, I, I always think about the history of this road and of those ponds that used to be there that were dredged to make way for development. And I think about how Fresh Pond Road was a Native American trail that um, was used by the Mespaches tribe to go down, down to Brooklyn, down to Jamaica Bay to go fishing and clamming and then to come back home to what is now known as Mazpet, which was derived from Mespaches, of course. And Mespaches actually translates to at the bad water place, curiously enough. And I'm sure they were referring to how swampy the Newtown Creek area was and is, but also maybe they just knew what was gonna happen here. I always try to imagine what it was like back then. And I like to pay my respects when I'm down by the water. The Dutch colonists came in the 1600s and you know how they like to ruin the party. Unfortunately, this road became known as Kill's Path, which doesn't quite have the same ring to it as Fresh Pond Road. So, okay, um, I'm at Metropolitan Avenue now and I'm gonna take this down for a while. Still a bit of traffic out here, even as we are supposedly sheltering in place as a city. Where is everyone going, I wonder? What are they doing? I'm just on a mission to get to the water, so I keep walking. And eh, about 45 minutes into my walk, I eventually make my way to the Western Beef grocery store. This has a giant parking lot that I usually like to cut through here just to get to the creek a little faster. And alas, here we are, the eastern branch of the Newtown Creek in all its glory. I've done a lot of printmaking in this zone, actually, um, in the English kill section. Uh, it's a good spot for the grime, unfortunately, due to the placement of a combined sewage overflow pipe that drains over 300 million gallons of sewage a year, which is totally insane. Unfortunately, it, it is a very dirty area of the creek, um, but one that I have been printing as a way to document the creek and as a way to just kind of say, you know, I see you and I'm, I'm going to touch you and I'm going to clean you up one print at a time. So yeah, I follow the water's edge past the old charming Grand Street swing bridge I can swing out about 90 degrees to let ships pass. I'm not sure the last time that's happened though. I always think about how this used to be Furman Island over here, an idyllic getaway back in the day. There was a judge, Judge Furman, who lived here in a big mansion and he wrote poetry about it. If you look up the Mazpeth poems, there's some pretty funny poems about the island, but it obviously got overrun by industry in the late 1800s. There were all these factories, bone boiling plants and gelatin makers. You can imagine the smell, but with all that in mind, I, I finally encounter the water's edge again and the smell. Well, it's not half bad today, actually. It smells pretty fresh, all things considered. Yeah, the creek, it's a special place. And as sordid as its history is, it's, uh, it's fascinating. And what history isn't sordid in New York City, you know? Such a degenerate history of tricksters and cutthroat capitalists. But it's also a crazy swirling pot of goodness, too. And you just kind of can't seem to get this type of soup anywhere else, you know. 
But I'm glad I broke my quarantine today. It's worth it. Come out here and walk along the water. New York City, I love to hate you. And I hate to love you. But I do love you. And I love a lot of people who live here. And I'm going to continue to live here until I officially get kicked out. <laughs> Which I thought was going to happen already, but I'm still here, so, you know, sticking it out. And we will get through all of this, all of us, like we do, survivors, fighters, strong, strong people with character. And, uh, for now, we hang out in our mass. We zoom with the best of them. And I encourage you to walk along the water's edge if you can. Something about it. Something about getting to the to the edge of land, that zone where the water meets. And that zone away from everything else. Away from COVID nineteen. Away from your neighbors. Away from everything. Just to get some thinking done. Get some sun, some peace and quiet. So I'll leave you with that. But on that note, stay safe and enjoy yourself out there when you can. Remember, it's it's good for you to get a little little air now and then, while maintaining six feet of social distance and wearing a mask. All right, I'm signing off. This is Stolen for walking the edge it is may 2020 and i'm out